Hi, my name is Bill Noje. I represent the 133rd Assembly District. Last week, I sat down and carefully read through again the full 70-page report prepared by Jacob that recalled a timeline of what happened and who was involved. I also read uh, the Staten Island District Attorney uh, Dan Donovan's report uh, and, and took note of a couple things. Number one, and I believe this has been said before, but it bears repeating. Mr. Donovan's report was limited in scope to activities in Brooklyn. That is stated not once, not twice, but three times in the seven-page report. I don't speak for Mr. Donovan. I have not spoken with Mr. Donovan. I believe his report stands on its own. But when you say something three times in a seven-page report, it becomes very clear to any reader that he was trying to send a message. His scope was limited by the terms of his engagement with under the existing, uh, the standing uh, Brooklyn District Attorney, uh, two events that occurred in Brooklyn and which could be prosecuted in Brooklyn. That leaves open the gaping question of, well, what happened in Albany or other places outside of Brooklyn that other people should be investigating? The Albany County District Attorney, Mr. Soares, was quoted in newspaper articles as saying, the phone never rang. Well, Mr. Soares, the phone is ringing today. We call upon you to take a look at whether there is probable cause based upon the information in the Jacob report and other information that is available to your office. And if there is probable cause, this matter should be prosecuted. The worst thing that can happen is that a little over five months from now, after election day, that someone like Vito Lopez would be elected to New York City Council, that all the staff involved with the cover-up are still holding their jobs, that Mr. Silver is still the speaker, and at the end of the day, there have been no serious repercussions for anybody involved with the original scandal or the cover-up of that scandal using over $100,000 of taxpayer money. It's time for Mr. Soares to do his duty under his oath to the Constitution and the laws of the State of New York and look at whether there is probable cause that crimes were committed in Albany County. If Mr. Soares will not do his duty, then we should call upon Governor Cuomo to appoint a special prosecutor with multi-county jurisdiction. And we would also ask the U.S. Attorney from the Northern District of New York, as Mr. McLaughlin just mentioned, to inquire whether there were instruments of interstate commerce employed, the U.S. Postal Service, or other instruments that would trigger federal jurisdiction into either the original crime or the cover-up of that crime by members of the staff and others here in Albany who tried to use, who did use, over $103,000 of taxpayer money as what cannot be described as anything other than a cover-up of the original, the original crime by Mr. Lopez. Thank you.